Hey, what's up, guys? I'm not really sure if uh, you guys saw my other video of Futuristic 3D Holograms Windows 7. Just type in Davy Burr uh, Futuristic 3D Holograms, and this video will come up. Uh, a lot of you guys have been messaging me of how to do it, and you some a lot of people have been really confused. So um, I'm going to make a video uh, walking you through the entire process. Um, in this video, there's going to be three optional sections. Um, one, the first section of this video is going to be the rain meter skin, which you see right here, rain meter skins. Um, the second one is going to be the rocket dock, which is, uh, let me just play this really quick, which is the icons you see here on a dock. And the last part is going to be the orbs for Windows 7. Um, orbs as in the start button right here, that's considered an orb. Um, you can change that if you like. There's tons and tons and tons of different kinds of orbs you can have to make it look really cool. Something else I want to mention is that all the links for these customizations are going to be in the description. And just give a quick thank you to the guys who created these skins and these customizations, the icons, because they worked really hard to do it. And uh, let's get down to it. I'm going to be walking you guys through the entire process just to show you that these links are clean. I'm going to also install them and I've had these installed on my computer for a very long time and I haven't had any problems. There are no viruses. I've scanned my computer thousands of times and so if you don't trust them then uh, I don't know what to tell you guys. Just don't do it then. But they are completely clean as I said. So part one of this video like I said is going to be rain meter. The very first thing you want to do is, uh, in the description, there should be a link to Rain Meter. If not, uh, you can go to uh, Google and just type in Rain Meter. Um, click RainMeter.net. And I already have it installed, but I need to update it. So uh, just go to 3.0.2 final release because 3.1 is a beta and it might be kind of buggy so just download uh, uh, final release another thing I want to point out is that uh, this will take up some memory in your computer so uh, just be prepared to uh, know that after you have downloaded it click run okay on this in the install options uh, you can make it launch. Uh, you can make Rain Meter launch on startup. Uh, if you check this, uh, I don't just because I sometimes just want to log in my computer, search something up really quick, and then turn it off. Um, it does take maybe 20 extra seconds to start up. So what I do is um, when I do want it to start up, you just go to the start menu, type in msconfig. and over here you can choose startup and you can choose what you want to start up so you can cancel you can uncheck rain meter which I have it unchecked um, and then just click OK and if you want it to start up just check it um, I'm not gonna check it so just install and click run rain meter now you will see that nothing came up but if you look down here you will see rain meter now what you can do is uh, just right click on it click manage and your interface will come up for rain meter now I just want to explain something to you guys really quick if you exit rain meter you will notice that if you click on the icon for rain meter if you restart it you will see that the drop comes down here and you're gonna have to right click manage every time you want to manage this the reason being is because when you click rain meter to start up it will automatically show your skins and your customizations these are the skins you have installed and these are your saved layouts these are your options um, you can disable dragon if you don't want to accidentally grab a skin and drag it somewhere where you don't want it but now I'm going to teach you how to install the skins so one of the first skins we're going to install is the Iron Man Jarvis team 
which is a very popular skin for rain meter so I'm just gonna copy that this is also in the description by the way right here you're gonna see the preview of it um, you can go to download over here save file you're gonna see a little raindrop that means it is an RM skin which is a rain meter skin file so you can save it go into your downloads folder or go to wherever your things download to and you can just drag it out to the desktop for now Um, you guys don't really have to drag it out, but I just did it because I like to. So you just double click it. Uh, if you leave this checked, it's going to automatically show. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. And as I said before, this is why Rain Meter, when you start it up, starts at the bottom over here because your skin starts over here on your desktop. And I just want to explain this to you guys really quick. There's so many videos out there of Jarvis themes, so I kind of want to make this unique and find another theme that is really cool um, to show you instead. This is a slideshow. Uh, to organize the slideshow, you can right-click it, go to Manage, and you will see that it opens up slideshow visuals automatically. You can then go to edit and you can actually edit the location of where um, your images are. This is a clock. It's real time. You can change that as well. Um, your notes over here, you can make them into links. Uh, you have shortcuts over here for links, Facebook, YouTube, videos, music. This will open your folders you can edit all this as I said it's completely customizable um, but I don't really want to get into the Jarvis like I said so we're gonna do another really cool skin to unload all these uh, skins over here you're gonna have to right click each one of them and just click unload skin You could have also done it over here. Um, you just click load and you can click unload. If you disable the dragging or if you checked click through in the settings, you could just always unload it here. Now I'm going to install one of my favorite skins. It's called uh, Tech A and it will also be in the description. I personally think this one looks cooler than the Iron Man one, the Jarvis. So you're going to go to download, you're going to save file just like we did before. And sometimes they come in a RAR file only because uh, just to save space they do that um, I'm just gonna drag this out to the desktop I'm going to drag it out And the cool thing is that you could keep all your skins in a folder in case their website ever goes down or um, the link ever goes down, I mean to say. Uh, anyway, we're going to double click that just like we did to the other one. Install. And nothing came up for me because... As you already saw, I already had Tech A in my folder, and I already had it unloaded. So 
Now I'm just going to load it. This one is kind of hard to move. You're going to have to uh, really click on here to move it, or you can click here. And, you know, it's just you got to find the right place to click it. So, anyway, you can set this to wherever you want. Um, this is actually a really cool um, skin if you have the right wallpaper for it. Uh, I found this administrated wallpaper or administered and um, I don't know that kinda hurts my eyes actually um, well if you have an all black wallpaper I guess it looks pretty good um, a wallpaper with a gradient might actually look really cool uh, maybe black and maybe black and gray something like that um, anyway these files over here the rain meter files you don't really need them you can delete them but I suggest keeping them just because you never know if the links might go down um, you don't need the RAR file anymore you can just right click that delete um, something else I just quickly want to mention is that if you go to these folders over here and you want to get rid of either one of these skins all you have to do is click it right click it open folder uh, go to the previous folder and just delete that uh, skin. So now just go ahead and make your rain meter skins folder and just drag those rain meter files into this folder and just keep it aside or put it somewhere safe anyway you can mix up different kinds of skins you can mix up as many as you want there is no limit um, so you can have all these skins at the same time uh, it does take up a bit of CPU power maybe about two percent or I'm sorry yeah about two or four percent actually um, anyway if you accidentally are moving them you just right click on it Make sure you're right-clicking on the skin. You go to Manage Skin. This will come up. It will automatically uh, go down to your skin. And just uncheck Draggable. You can also make a click-through. If you want to make all of them undraggable, disable Dragon. Make sure that's checked if you want to disable the Dragon. So have fun with this, guys. And now for part two of the video, I'm going to teach how to uh, customize Windows 7 with Rocket Dock and when you mix Rocket Dock with uh, your rain meter it really looks cool so um, we're gonna go ahead and just start part 2 and just really quickly don't forget that just to unload a skin you can right click it and click unload skin <laughs> 